my channel welcome back to my channel so this is me Kashvia. i hope you all are watching and you guys are always welcome to my youtube channel so you guys it's been so long that i was waiting to film this video but for some reason my life decided to go in an opposite direction like literally opposite direction because i was facing a lot of problem lot of issues and i was trying to solve them and face them and finally finally i got a chance to sit down and film this video because i am super excited about this video so i needed a full on mood to film this specific video so finally i have a proper mood where i can talk about the morphe jeffree star palette you guys i am so excited i know this palette came out from so long it's been three to four months but as i told you i was in disaster situation so i'm not calling this video like a first impression or review video though i haven't used it at all before this video so this is my first time but i'm not calling it like that way so i just want to sit down and play with this palette where i will show you guys how to get a simple and also a super glamorous look using this palette so if you guys are excited that how i can create simple and glamorous look by using this palette then then what keep on watching so simply this is how the packaging looks like it's a pink cute packaging it have a name in crown which is morphe x jeffree star and down jeffree star artistic palette and behind it has a very stunning gorgeous photo of him and of course hey how are you and this is how the actual palette look like it's the same like the main packaging all right so i'm gonna just do some swatches of this palette and i will go row by row just to see how the pigmentation and how the swatches look like so let's start all right the first your name is really really cool it is welcome back to my channel just the way jeffrey starts say and at the end one they have wine noise with a little bit of star in it okay so here is the swatch for the first show so this one is welcome back to my channel and this one is wine noise i really really love those wine noise i feel like maybe this one is a pressed pigment i'm not really sure but the pigmentation is really really good on that and i also like the to this color right here love it all right then in the second row we have lean 1985 mogul which is super pigmented i love it and then we have self-made also so pigmented and then we have dog mom and then honest true the third row we have designer level mr diva boss angel pink fleet calabasas and the last one is don't know her and then in the fifth row we have rolls with it millions which is a pressed glitter then we have girl then we have what's the tea warm warm and custom rims and then in the last row we have glam repeat wake and bake nate drive through hi dude and parsley right, so the swatches of this palette was really really promising so now we will see how it goes so the first thing we must need to prime so this side i'll be doing a super glam look which is this side and a simple one i will do this side i have already done my eyebrow all right my eyelid is prime so you guys this is my very first time that i'm digging into this palette so i really don't know what to expect so i will see how everything goes so i'll be taking the color called high dude and i'll be going to the outer portion of my lid oh boy can we just talk about the pigmentation it is so pigmented oh, i'm excited all right and then i'll be taking it all over my crease till my inner corner just like that and very lightly i don't want to take it uh, to my eyebrow no 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 i will just keep it till here i'm not trying to blend it yet i'm just pressing the color into my eyelid 
just like that. So this one is done. So after that, I will take the hot pink, which called self made. So I'm just taking the color and I'm going above of the brown shade that I just used. And I'm not taking that color all over my inner corner. I'll just take till half. I guess I'm gonna zoom in you guys a little bit so you guys can see it's much better. All right, so I'm just packing the color and then trying to blend it slowly and slowly. I'm not going all the way exactly like down my eyebrow. I'm leaving a little bit space just under my eyebrow. So blend, blend, blend. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a clean brush and then just trying to blend the pink shade and blend. You guys, I actually prefer to hold my mirror closer, like then I see myself there. I feel like this is more convenient for me. I just like it. Alright, this two shade is completely blended and now I will take white noise and I will focus right in this place. So I'm just gonna take the color all the way till my inner corner. Oh, this is so pretty shade. Okay. And now I'm going to take the shade called channel and I'm just going to blend above of the shade um, white noise. So I'm just going to blend them together. Alright, this one is really light. I thought it will be a little bit more darker than it is. But it is a pretty shade. And then I will actually go back again to the white noise and the color here because I just want to deepen up the color a little more I really want to see that orangey shade on the, there so I'm just going like again and I took a more smaller precise brush and then just going that's lovely Right, so this is pretty much done right here so I'm gonna do a cut crease so I'm just going to cut my crease I'm just gonna cut my crease till the halfway not all of it and now I'm gonna take the shade called wake and bake and I'm gonna go all over my leg I'm just gonna pack the color. This is a really pretty olive green shade. Alright, so now this is done, and now I will go back to the shade, the dark brown, the one high dude, and I will try to define my crease a little bit more. And now the exciting part that I'm gonna use the glitter shade that one called Millions. I am so excited. I love glitter, you guys know it. So I must use glitter for this look, like I must. So I'm just gonna see if I'm able to take the color without using a glitter glue because the swatches for this glitter shade was amazing. I'll be going to put the glitter all over my lid above of this lemon green shade all over, so. Oh. Oh, okay, no, because the glitter is dropping, so I must use a glitter glue. So I'm just gonna take the glitter glue and then put a buff off my lid. And now I'm gonna go back to the shade and I'm just gonna press all over my lid. And now it is working. Very, very gently, I'm just pressing the glitter all over my lid.
Wow. Wow, that looks stunning. I guess I'm just gonna go with my finger a little bit and then tap, tap, tap. Right now, as long as it's done, I'm gonna move to my rest of the work. So I'll go to the brown shade and then I will just blend in my outer lid. Just like that. And after that, I will take the purple shade called Moogle and I'll just blend right here. Wow, this is so pigmented. I love the shade, I love it. Beside the fact that I thought it is really, really dark purple, but it is really bright purple. You're gonna really take your time and blend because you don't want to see any kind of harsh lines so take your time and blend really really well all right so now i will take the color called welcome and i will just draw my brow so my this eyes is pretty much done about the outer corner and my lower lash line i will do after i finish my rest of my makeup so now i will be moving to this eye for a simple look all right so as usual for sure we're gonna do prime first by the way guys this eyeshadow the oops a moment by the way guys this eyeshadow don't really have a lot of fallout only the glitter that have a little bit fallout but others is pretty nice and so my eyes is primed now I will go to the shade wine noise again and I'm just gonna blend the color right here so I just took a more precise brush and I'm just blending it on my outer corner to my inner corner After that, I'm just gonna go with the shade called Channel and I'm just gonna blend above of the shade, above of the previous shade I mean. So I'm just gonna blend everything. And then that's it and also I'm going to cut my crease in this eye. I'm just gonna cut my crease off. Alright, so I just cut my crease and then I'm gonna set with the shade called Lean. So I'm just gonna press the shade all over my lid. I'm just going to take the color wine noise again and then just gonna blend in my outer portion. Then I'm just gonna take a clean precise brush and then I see if I can blend them more. Alright, so then I'm just gonna take a glitter glue and a pencil brush and then I will gently draw my cut crease, you know, just the line. So I need my mirror more closer. So I'm just gonna take it. Alright, then I'm just gonna take the same brush and take the press glitter called Millions 
and I'm just gonna go above of my blue wave. Alrighty guys, and that's it. So I'm just gonna take the shade called Welcome and then just draw my eyebrow line. That's it for this eye. So it was very simple and fast. Then this one, this one took a lot of time, but this one is very fast. So that's why I call it simple but nice. So my eyes are done, so I'll do my face now. I'll go very fast because I'm pretty sure this video is going to be so long. So I'll be going very, very fast and talk about everything very, very fast. So, alright guys, the foundation I'll be using today is the Anastasia one. So I will use a mattifying primer because this foundation makes me a little bit oily than other foundation i have a combination skin for your kind information so my teaser is oily and sometimes it is really oily so basically it depends on the mood of my skin sometimes it's so oily that i look too much oily throughout the day sometimes it is easier for me to handle my roommates are talking in phone oh my god this is so annoying but I have nothing to do. Alright, so I'm just gonna wet my face because there is some fallout from the glitter and I feel like glitter is everywhere and I know it is so hard to take out the glitter from your face. Okay, so, so I'm just gonna cut it like this because I want a sure breaking line. Alright, so, okay, that's perfect and same goes for this one I'm just gonna make it sharp yeah that look perfect all right so today I'll be using the foundation is the Anastasia foundation so I'll go with a mattifying primer because this foundation makes me a little bit oily than the other foundation because my teaser is already oily so I have a combination of skin for your kind information so I'll be using today the Catrice Cosmetic, the Prime and Fine Primer because this one is really good to control the oil, at least for me. So I'll be using this primer today. So mostly I'll be focusing in my T-zone. I love this primer. I like this is one of my favorite primer from Dark Store. I actually love Catrice brand because they are really cheap and they have a lot of nice product all right so for this foundation i'm in the shade 365c i already did a review on this foundation if you haven't seen then make sure to check that out i'll post the link in my description below For the concealer, I'll be using Makeup Revolution Con Conceal and Define Concealer and I'm in the shade C12. I love this concealer. Yeah, this is my all-time favorite concealer, guys. After Shape Tape, this is my favorite one. And this is from Truck Store. I love it. I'm just going to take a little bit in my forehead, my upper nose and of course beside my lips and then just blend them all all right so now to highlight my under eye i'm using the same concealer but in the shade c85 this is so light so i'm just gonna take a little bit and that's it i saved a little bit but i think i used a lot all right so i'm just gonna blend them you see it brightened my under eye so nicely i love and love and love it maybe some of you guys you don't like to brighten your under eye this much but i like it i don't like like so much but it's not like i don't like it i do like it so 
I love it the way it brightened my under eye. Oh my god, I used a lot. I have to use a little bit less because a little goes a long way. So, I don't know. Before I even use it, I told you guys I'm gonna just use a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and then all this happened. Alright, so I'm just using Anastasia setting powder. I love this powder, guys. It is amazing setting powder. If you haven't used it, please go ahead and try this powder. You will love it. I promise you that. So I'm just gonna take the powder in my brush and then just set my under eye. Today I'm just gonna set all over my face because as I told you, this foundation make me look oily very fast. So I just wanna set all over my face. Normally, I don't do that because my without my um, T-zone, rest of my face is pretty much dry. So I don't really set rest of my face. I just set my T-zone and some of the foundation. I don't also do that because there is no need. They are already matte and drying. So I don't do that. But for this one, I'm just going to do it because otherwise, I will look oily before I even finish this video. So... I'm gonna just say it's everything. Alright, now I look pretty crazy, but I promise you guys after I do my contour and blush, I will look good. <laughs> I mean, I will look okay. Alright, for my contour, blush, and highlight, I'll be using today this palette. This is the Too Faced face palette. So I'll be using this one for everything like my contour, my blush, my highlight, everything is in one palette. So I'm just gonna use this shade right here. This is not the shimmer one. This is a matte one. This is a shimmery bronzer. So I love matte bronzer. I don't really bronze my face necessarily every single time. Most of the time I will just use my blush, my highlight and that's it. I'm just someone like not into bronzer but doesn't mean that I don't like it I love to do bronzer but I don't know why but most of the time I don't use that I will be just using blush and highlight I don't know there is no reason actually <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna contour my nose a little bit I also don't normally contour my nose <laughs> but today I'm doing everything I just have them in, I guess. <laughs> so I'm just gonna contour my knees. Alright, for the blush, of course, I'm using this blush. This one. This is so baby pinkish. This is like a pink color, like really bright pink. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and tap and throw that excess as much as possible so I don't look crazy, you know? And then I'm gonna lightly just touch. Whoa, my gosh, this is so pinkish. All right, so this side actually looked better because the most of it I used in this side. So this side looked like pff, all the color in one place. Like, ah. I'm just gonna go back to my powder brush to see if I can lighten the color because it's a lot, it's too pinkish. Yeah, I guess now it is at least a little bit better. All right, so for the highlight, I'm using this highlight right here. This is a bit pinkish kind of highlight. So I will go with this one. This is like a goldenish highlight. Goldenish. Good one. Oh my God. This highlight is everything. Oh, I'm so excited to see the glow. Yes, honey. Oh, I love it. I swear, you guys, this highlight is everything. I also love the shape uh, because it goes with my eye look perfectly. Everything about this highlight, I 
to look. My face looks shiny, biny, amazing. All right, before the lipstick, I'll go back to my eyes because I want to fix my lower lash line and also my inner corner. All right, so for my lower lash line, I'm going to take the Nate, the green shade. Oh, I guess I need the mirror closer. So... Now I'll take the color called Wake and Bake and I will try to blend this in a little bit. Make sure you tap the excess so that there is no fallout, though this shade have no fallout, but it's still to be seen. <laughs> And that's it for this lower lash line and for this one I will take the same color that I used in my lid which is white noise and then I will just put in my lower lash line as it's supposed to be simple <laughs> and now for the inner corner I'll be taking the color called designer level and I'll just put in my inner corner Oh, this color is so bright. All right, the same shade I'm going to put in my both eyes in a corner because it is perfect for both look. And then that's pretty it. My inner corner, my lower lash, and everything is done. So now I will just do my eyeliner, mascara, and I will put on some lashes, and I will right back. Alright, guys, so I'm back. I did my lashes, my eyeliner, and everything, and now we left with only lips. Alright, so for the lip, I want to use a color that goes with both eye look. It's a music, the color from ColourPop, and this one called Chai. This is their ultra matte lipstick. So I feel that. This is a very nice color that can go with any kind of look, any look. So I'm just using this. Alright, and I plan to go with a lip gloss and that is also from ColourPop and this is called very floss. I will be using this lip gloss, which is shocking. I don't like lip gloss, but I just feel like with this look, the lip gloss will look really, really nice. So. Okay, I'm never okay with lip gloss. Like, I just feel like I wish it's matte, I wish it's not glossy. But today, I want to keep it glossy, not matte. Not matte. No to the matte. For today, I mean. <laughs> Alright guys, so basically this is the finished look. Oh my god, I am in love with this palette, you guys. This is super pigmented. And it don't really have a lot of fallout or patchiness. Nothing. I love this palette, you guys. If you haven't bought it yet, go ahead and buy it because you will love it. You can create simple look and also colorful look and this is the result this is the i mean this is the definition of my talk does that make sense all i want to say this is a perfect palette and i love it i'm glad that i got this palette really really impressed all right so only one thing that i don't like that my face is glittery this is obvious whenever you use glitter in your eyes this is gonna happen and mostly with me i guess more than anyone else <laughs> so i'm just gonna fix my hair a little bit and then get back all right guys i'm back and this is the final finished look so this side for a colorful glam like super glam and colorful look this side so please do not see the other side <laughs> so this is if you want to play with the color and you want to see what you can create then this is the result and this is the simple but also glam look but it's simple and a very fast one so this is where it is like i feel like i'm looking weird of showing you like guys like this 
closing my eyes, this side and this side. This is funny, but you saw the both results. So I'm really, really happy about the palette, you guys. And I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna come up with more video because I'm obsessed with this palette already and I wanna create more look and share with you guys. So this is our future plan, but for now, this is how it is. I'm really, really in love with the glitter shade called Million. I'm obsessed. Like, I am obsessed. Alright guys, so that's all for this video. If you guys want to see more eye look and more video using this beautiful, perfect palette, then let me know. I will come up with more look and I will be happy to share with you guys. And that's pretty it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!